Today I'm going to try to make some. I've tried a few times before uh, following different recipes. I've tried um, leaching the lichen, the Iceland moss lichen, in uh, water overnight in a, in a small stream. That didn't work too well. I've also tried boiling the lichen in a in several changes of water. That too didn't work too well. It was still too bitter. Um, so today I'm going to try to make some lye from ash, wood ash and water, and uh, let the lichen leach in the lye overnight and hopefully by tomorrow I will have a more palatable dish. Iceland moss has been used as a food for a long time <coughs> and it has uh, uh, I guess especially a good reputation as a, as a famine food because it is um, available all, all year. That is, if you know where it is, you can find it in winter as well. You have to dig it out though. Uh, it's supposedly very nutritious and um, also something you can boil into a porridge. You can use it as a thickener in, in stews. And uh, you can dry it, and grind it, and make a flour from it, and make bread. <coughs> so it has many uses. I just, uh, I guess, the last video I made it was about uh, partially about using Iceland moss uh, medicinally. But today, let's see if we can get some food from it. So this is the, the perfect weather to, to pick Iceland moss. There's a ever so slight drizzle in the air and it's been raining all day. That makes the, the lichen more pliable, um, soft, so you can pull it out without it uh, snagging on something. Uh, when the weather is dry, the, the Iceland moss it gets really, really stiff, and uh, when you pick it, it, uh, it uh, grabs onto all kinds of things, twigs and pieces of moss, pine cones, everything. So you, you'll get a hell of a job cleaning the, the lichen after you've picked it. Apparently, you'll get the best lye from, uh, from the ashes of birch. I've only tried making uh, lye from um, mixed ashes, um, so I'm, I'm not really sure about that myself. But this time I have uh, mostly birch and uh, a bit, a bit of, uh, I guess, uh, some other leafy trees as well, some hardwoods, and uh, that's uh, supposedly also uh, good. The idea is to to mix equal parts ashes and uh, water and bring that to a boil, leave it for uh, about two hours and um, and filter it. The, uh, the lye that you get from water and ash might seem harmless but um, uh, it is actually uh, a strong base so you should uh, be careful uh, uh, how you treat it. Uh, it will burn your skin. Now um, it might not be as strong as some other uh, more chemical uh, lies but um, yeah be careful anyway. Uh, you, you can feel if you take it just a little bit between your fingers uh, you'll feel that uh, uh, it's, it's this kind of slippery uh, sensation 
and also uh, you'll, you, your skin will go really dry afterwards and uh, yeah, feel, feel a bit warm perhaps, a bit burnt so that's uh, a good sign that you have lye it's important to note that you shouldn't use aluminium pots to make lye the lye will react with the aluminium and, um, and your pots will go black I've experienced that myself so um, use stainless steel we have arrived at the morning after the lichen have now been leaching in the lye overnight and um, I'm about to start cleaning the lichen getting all the, the lye out of um, out of it mm. very nice I had in mind to make um, a porridge but I just didn't have the patience to wait for it to boil long enough to make make a porridge you really have to boil it a long time probably several hours to make a, a, a good thick porridge so I pureed it instead if that's how you say it pronounce it I'm not sure I pureed it instead in a food uh, processor uh, with some stevia from the garden and um, added a few strawberries and um, a wee bit of cream and, uh, and there it is some kind of dessert now this is of course highly experimental also I'm going to have to work on the recipes and further my understanding of how to use uh, Iceland moss as uh, an ingredient but it is certainly edible and after treatment uh, all the bitterness is gone so it can be a very useful uh, thing to to, to have as a wild food staple now, a few things I've noticed about uh, this method of preparation mm -hmm. is that uh, you really need to to wash the lichen properly uh, after you've uh, had it in lye overnight otherwise uh, you'll get um, warm lips from eating it and uh, it doesn't hurt to to boil it also for a, a wee while and discard the water hopefully in time I will learn how to to leach the lichen properly without actually using lye but um, for now uh, lye is certainly a valid uh, a method it might sound um, or look a bit exotic to use lye in food preparation but it's actually quite common and uh, uh, many um, olives are prepared the same way to get rid of their bitterness so uh, it's actually pretty standard mm. Ah, this is very nice actually, very nice. Mm. So that's something new, perhaps. Iceland moss puree.